Come forward, please. Good morning. How are you all doing? Are you awake? Okay. So, no, yes, no. You're not sure. What do they teach you in school? What does yes, no mean? You don't know. I don't know either. Okay. Some of you have what I'm looking for. Some of you have these green things sticking out of your hands, and you got them too. Why don't you? I need a volunteer. Nobody's going to volunteer. Okay, why don't you? Okay, all three of you stand up. All three of you stand up and start waving those things. They're all the same. They're all, what? You can have another one, okay? You want that one? Oh, dear. You two must be related. Okay, why don't you wave those things? What in the world are we doing that for? Because I told you to, right? Palm Sunday. Okay, be seated. That's what they did to Jesus the week before he died on the cross. Jesus showed up in Jerusalem and they took a bunch of these things and waved at him. They gave him a parade. Have you ever been in a parade or seen a parade before? What's it like? A lot of people. There was a lot of people on Palm Sunday. What else is in a parade? Celebration. It was a great celebration time. Okay, they were eager to see Jesus. They were happy Jesus was there. They celebrated that he was there. And so they took a bunch of these palm branches that were everywhere and they waved at Jesus. What do you think that meant? Any ideas? They were celebrating Jesus to say, thank you, you're here and we're glad you're here. Now something else happened that I want to share with you that, you're gonna, that uh, is going to be in today's scripture. Who wants to read? Who wants to read? Nobody wants to read. Except over here. Okay. okay, you come on up here, sir. I want you folks to listen to this carefully because this is what happened. Several things happened on that Palm Sunday, and this is what happened. There was a question, and Jesus answered it rather curiously. Here, you can hold this. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. I tell you, he, re I tell you, he replied, if they keep quiet, quiet, the stones will cry out. Okay, thank you. Okay, Jesus uh, was told by the Pharisees to be quiet. Be quiet. You're making too much noise! What did Jesus say? Jesus said something curious, and I want to explain it to you. Remember what Jesus said? He talked about stones. The stones will cry out. What is this? This is a stone or a rock, but this is not any ordinary stone or rock. I want to tell you folks, I want to tell everybody, this is the official West Mansfield United Methodist Church rock. Everybody go, ooh, ah. Very good. When I came here, I found this rock on the desk in the office. Ah, yes. And so I asked the boss, Cheryl Sines, I said, what's this rock for here, doing here? And she said, I don't know. And so for five years, I've been staring at this rock most every day, wondering what this rock is doing in the office, on the desk. We don't know. It's never told me why it's here. It doesn't talk to me too often. And it doesn't talk to me before I've had any coffee. Okay? So, this is a mystery, but I found out why it's here. You want to know the secret why it's here? Okay? It's because of what Jesus said. The Pharisees were saying, Jesus is getting too noisy in this parade. Too loud! Got to be quiet. And so Jesus said, if they're quiet, the very stones will cry out. So this is what I want you to do. I need another volunteer. 
who's got very strong hands. You got strong hands? Come on up here, sir. I bet you do, right? Okay, let's see the, the muscles in your hands. Oh, and your arms, too. You, you're very strong, right? Okay, could you hold this very important rock? Hold it carefully. It's very important. It's not just any ordinary rock. Okay, you ready? Oh, my goodness. You can do it. Okay, now the rest of us, I want everybody, and this includes you old folks too, okay? I want everybody to be quiet. Can you be quiet for five seconds? Let's be quiet. Ready, set, go. Very good. You folks are very good at being quiet. Did anybody hear this rock? No. Did you hear the rock? No. It didn't say anything to you? No. You must need coffee. Okay, well, <laughs> thank you. you could, do the rocks talk usually? No. no. So what was Jesus talking about? He said the very rocks will cry out. What in the world was he thinking? I don't know. Yes, ma'am. Going an avalanche. They're going on an avalanche. That's a good guess. The Hebrew, the Jewish thought, the Jewish belief is that all of creation, everything that God created, is praising God. Everything, the sun, the moon, the stars, rainbows, bugs, even rocks. In some way, we may not hear them with our ears, but even the rocks, the Jew, the Jews believed, is praising God one way or another. Okay. And so Jesus was referring to that. He said, even if we be quiet, even all the rest of God's creation, even the rocks will be praising God. And so next time you see a rock or a stone, like when you go outside to the parking lot or go home, you will pass by some stones or a rock. What I invite you to do is to pick up one of them. Yes, you can take it and hold that rock for a while. You won't hear that rock or that stone, but that'll be a reminder to you for what? Reminder that we need to praise God also. Just on Sunday mornings? How often should we praise God? Always, every day, that's right. Okay, so next time you see a stone or a rock, doesn't matter what size, what color, or anything like that, uh, let that be a reminder to you to praise God, even on a bad day. So I think I know why, Cheryl, I now know why this rock is on your desk. It's a reminder, even on the bad days, to be praising God. Okay? Can you do that? Can you praise God? Yeah. Easy to do, isn't it? Because he's so good to us. So let's pray. Thank you, Lord God, for giving us a reason every single day to praise you, to praise you, and to praise you. Even on our bad days, you bless us so much. And so, Lord God, we want to outshout the rocks and the stones all around us in praising you all the time, for you are worthy. We thank you and pray this in your holy name. Amen. You folks can head on downstairs, and the rest of us will remain seated.